Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O-level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. As you know students nowadays we are doing the topic coordinate geometry of the circle. We have done so many questions and still we will be doing uh, more questions of this topic so let's have a look question number four this question is very very important uh, the chances is almost full uh, for this question to come in your exam uh, uh, let's have a look this question the circle C has equation x square plus y square plus 8x minus 16 y plus 62 equals to 0 part a part a is very easy find the coordinates of the center c and the exact radius of c this is the general form of the equation of a circle x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 Compare the coefficient of x, which is 2g, here in the question is 8. The coefficient of y is 2f, here in the coefficient is minus 16, and the constant is 62. So from here, g is 4, from here, f is uh, minus 8, from here, c is 62. Now, for the general equation of the circle, what is the formula of the coordinates of the center? So I say the coordinate of the center is O, which is minus G minus F. So minus G, G is 4, it is minus 4, and F is minus 8, it is minus minus plus 8. So minus 4, comma 8 is the center of the circuit. Now the second requirement is to find the exact value of the radius so what is the formula of the radius r is equals to g square plus f square minus c so what is g 4 square what is f minus 8 square what is c minus plus minus 62 so 4 square is 16 8 square is 64 minus 62 so 64 minus 62 is 2 plus 16 is 18 and root 18 can be write 3 root 2 3 root 2 is the answer so this is part a part a is very very easy we have done this type of question center and radius so many times but I have to focus on part B see carefully the line L has equation y equals to 2x plus 1 and part B is find the minimum distance between line L and circle C so in order to find the minimum sometime you you see the word minimum and sometime you see the word shortest both are synonym of each other so shortest distance or the minimum distance means same now see this shortest distance means the perpendicular distance so consider this circle I am talking about this diagram carefully see this diagram so this is the center O is in the circle and you know the distance from the center to the circumference is radius so this is radius R and this is the distance D from the circumference to the line L so we have to find this distance D how to find 
very easy first find the equation of line op so in order to find equation of line op we need what is the equation of the given line l see this the equation of given line is 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 y equals to 2x plus 1 so this is the equation of L y is equals to 2x plus 1 now we have to find the equation of the line OP this is the perpendicular line so if you compare this equation by mx plus c so m1 is 2 obviously the gradient of OP is negative 1 upon 2 because OP is perpendicular to L so our equation is y is equals to minus 1 upon 2x plus c now find y intercept how to find c the the coordinates of center is minus 4 comma 8 we have already find so satisfy this line by the coordinates of center because we need y is equals to mx plus c we need y intercept so y is 8 negative 1 upon 2 x is negative 4 plus c okay so 8 is equals to minus minus plus 2 to the 4 plus c and 8 minus 2 is 6 so c is 6 so equation of OP is y is equals to y is equals to minus 1 upon 2x plus c c is 6 so put this value of y in the given equation in order to solve these two equations simultaneously so y is equals to 2x plus 1 is the equation of L so y is equals to 2x plus 1 compare both the equations so 2x plus 1 equals to minus 1 upon 2x plus 6 so 2x plus 1 is equals to taking LCM of 2 minus 2x plus 12 2 to the 4x 2 ones are 2 minus x plus 12 so minus x becomes plus x so 4 plus 1 is 5x 12 minus 2 is 10 x is equals to 2 10 upon 2 is 10 upon 5 is 2 put this value of y in the equation any one of the equation y is equals to 2x plus 1 so y is equals to 2 2 plus 1 y is equals to 2 to the 4 plus 1 is 5 so you may say x2 and y5 see this diagram again if I make the right angle triangle here x is 2 and y is 5 in and if I find the distance from OP the distance from OP which is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle this is the right angle triangle this is 2 this is 5 this is O this is P so by using Pythagoras theorem we have to find OP square is equals to 2 square plus 5 square 4 plus 5 square is 25 and OP 25 plus 4 is 29 and square drop is square root so distance of OP is 29 hence 
see this see the diagram again what is r what is the radius we just find the value of radius is 3 root 2 3 this is r 3 root 2 and the distance of op is root 29 and we have to find the value of d therefore value of d must be root 29 minus 3 root 2 hence minimum distance is d is equals to root 29 minus radius 3 root 2 this is our answer so what I say this is very important questions can come in your final exam because it has lot of concepts see this whole question again the circle has the equation x square plus y square plus 8x minus 16 y plus 62 is equals to 0 find the coordinates of the center and the exact radius of C so we have find the center is minus 4 comma 8 and find the radius is 3 root 2 now the second part is very very important find the coordinates uh, or sorry the line L has equation y is equals to 2x plus 1 find the minimum or shortest distance between L and C so this is the diagram we have find the equation of a straight line OP then solve this equation of OP and the given equation simultaneously to find the value of X which is 2 and the value of Y which is 5 then by using the Pythagoras theorem we have find the value of OP which is root 29 and radius is 3 root 2 therefore the distance between the shortest distance the minimum distance between the between the circle and the line is root 29 minus 3 root 2 so hope you understand this question this is our today's class where we have done only one question and no issue I will try to finish the whole topic as soon as possible I request all of you kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos my channel as many as you can good luck for next lecture